Welcome everyone, FarmerCop here. We're gonna talk about some of the new ground working features for Farm Sim 22. So um, a, this, they just released this this morning talking about some of the new ground working features. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of them. I'll show some pictures and stuff like that. But overall, some very cool stuff looks like it's coming. So um, it says, we did some ground work in Farming Center 22. Not only does the soil like other surfaces appear more natural and vivid thanks to parallax occlusion mapping, there are also new ground working systems and a lot of new ground textures you can look forward to. So the first one here, first image you're seeing now is a feature called mulching so mulching the revelation of domestic gardening through questionable overuse of bark chips but backyards and home improvements are not what we're talking about here although the science is basically the same mulching improves the soil and therefore the yield in farming simulator 22 we use a mulcher attached to a tractor to cut and apply fresh grass uh, to the surface of the soil when cultivating a grape or olive orchard for example after harvesting your crops you can also mulch the stubble left on the field to provide uh, or to improve yield and because it's still important to many, you also mulch to guarantee the visual appearance of your grape and olive orchard as mulching makes everything on your vineyard look nice and clean too. How wonderful. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, also, there are bigger types of mulchers in the forestry section. Uh, they even mulch bushes and tree stumps almost. Nothing will get in the way of mulching if you apply correct machinery. That's cool because you couldn't do that before in FS19, obviously, is mulch uh, bushes and stuff down. So I'm super excited about that. Um, now, the next one here is... Uh, well, as you can see on your screen, there's the stone picker there by uh, Ello. Um, so this is one of the ones I'm most excited about. So leaving the wonderful world of mulching, there's hard re reality lying dormant in the ground, stones. When cultivating or plowing, stones can turn up on your field. Depending on what kind of cultivator you're using, the size of the stones varies. Using a subsoiler, you will dig up some larger rocks compared to the shallower groundwork. Your soil lies in chaos now. Oh no, but what now? When collecting the stones, your stone picker, you can even make some additional money by selling them to uh, the debris crusher. Get your revenge on those soil invaders and even get paid for it. Before you begin to sow your crops, you should take care of the stones or take care of the stones one way or another. You can also turn stones off if you like, which is really nice. You don't have to have stones on, which is cool. Um, so here's another picture of just the LO from behind there. Kind of look, you can see the ground before and after um, that it's getting worked on there. So leaving them on the field will damage your machines. Not only that, your problem will get worse. More and more stones will turn up. If you don't like to collect them, there's another method to get rid of them, at least the smaller ones. Uh, here comes another ground working mechanic into play that ties into stones. Yes, stones are the gift that keeps on giving. So they didn't really, I'm not seeing any mention of how you can get rid of them on there other than picking them up with a stone picker. So it sounds like maybe if they're smaller, you can pick them up by hand. I don't know, we'll have to see, you know. Um, now, the last thing we have on here is the uh, soil rolling feature. So as you can see on there, we have, uh, looks like a soil roller. Um, if you pick large rocks out of the ground, you need to collect them uh, with smaller stones. Oh, this thing collects smaller stones. Here we go. With smaller stones turning up after cultivating or plowing, you can also use this spectacular looking agricultural tool called a roller uh, and simply press them into the ground again. So there you go. Yes, just roll over them. And they had it coming, threatening the well-being of your expensive machines. Uh, rollers are not just a tool to conceal the rocky consequences of cultivating or plowing, though. After you're sowing, after sowing your crops, you gain an additional yield bonus by rolling over, flattening, and compressing the seed bed. Consider the type of crop and field size we're talking about is a considerable amount of money. That's awesome. They're also incentive to get your roll on when you're grassland and when you're a grassland enthusiast. And I can't talk anymore. Enthusiast. I'm just too excited. Uh, as rolling around on your meadows grants you a fertilizing stage. That's cool. Uh, mind that uh, rolling the grass sets it back to the first growth stage. So you should roll over the grass when it's freshly cut and mowed. So there you go. Um, then we have a nice diagram here that shows us all the different ground textures. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about that. So um, starting from the upper left hand corner, we have stubble tillage. Then we have cultivated. We have seed bed plowed. We have rolled seed bed. We have sown. We have planted. We have ridge. We have direct sown. Um, so I'm saying it's like direct drilled. Uh, harvest ready. We have harvest ready too. Uh, grass and then grass cut. There's so many cool things coming with this and again i'll have tutorials out on all of this as we get uh, the game rolling out uh, but i just want to do a quick video out today to kind of uh, talk about all this but it says we revise basically all ground textures for farming simulator 22 you'll notice more visual diversity and when playing some friends invited to your farm even via crossplay you'll definitely notice if those slackers haven't rolled the seed beds as the texture looks different from one where it's not uh, don't let them get away with lowering your yield above you just uh you see just some examples of the new ground textures in the game uh, to click on the image large, which is what you guys are seeing basically is just in a large image of it uh, But yeah, another note too if you guys want to pre-order the game uh, you can pre-order seasons pass uh, or you can order pre-order the farm sim 22 uh, PC version or you can pre-order the seasons or the year one 
pass with farm sim 22 and the season's pass for year one if you'd like to using the links down below in the description uh, again if you use that link it does go to help support the channel a ton at no extra cost to you which is super helpful for the channel um, we've been doing giveaways pretty regularly for farm sim 22 stuff and that has helped support that so i do appreciate that um, anyhow if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and watching